Hi everyone, it's Cassie Cassie. How are you all doing? Hey, listen, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I was going through and a video um, was sent to me and it was about Cheryl Wright. And she did an interview. Well, she had an appearance on the 11th of May before the judge to see if she can get released. But they denied her release so saying that her next date is in 2027 she gotta wait another what 2022 23 24 25 26 another five six years five and plus six months um so she she still has a little wait to go uh, there's a lot of things that i don't want to say about it because i'm here to keep uh, the peace and you know i got a lot of going on myself including me and my health and and getting to the dentist so but anyway Cheryl um she had it all and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it like that and I'm gonna say it like this she still had she, it, it, the mom is still living Wright's mom is still living and she said that in one of her interviews she's gonna be at every parole here and making sure she don't get released. And let me tell you something. One thing about a mom that's hurting and, you know, don't win a lot of Sunday dinners without our son. Okay, they'll go to the root people for you. They'll go, they'll go to the, they'll go get a spell baby so, so deep on you. Honey, let me tell you something. I know what I know. Okay. I know what I know. And a lot of people do that, and they don't even have to be a mom that's hurting. So you know what I know what I know. But you know one thing, there is only one God. I can't say specifically that that's what she's doing. I'm just saying that a mama that's hurting like that, a mama, a mama that's hurting like that over a son that was good to her, and good to his kids. And then he had a god daughter that he thought was his. But was coming to find out was not his. And he took care of all those babies. And all of a sudden he died. He gets killed mysteriously. You know that there, there was a scorn. You know that, that there was a scorn lover involved. When they die like that. Somebody shoot them. And then they come up with some kind of it's, it's crazy story. About uh, he left here with a box. And she don't know what was in the box. And then she said she, they said it was drugs in the box. And he was going to make a drug deal. It's crazy stuff. When it's crazy like that, you know something's wrong. But, you know, they hired, or this guy, Crime Stoppers, interviewed her. And she told on her fucking self. She wrote these books. She got a million dollars for, for rights of uh, death. And she didn't take care of the kids from what the... The granddaddy said, because he took her to court. She didn't take care of the kids. Okay? Because he took her to court to try to get some of the money, but he couldn't. So, listen, I'm not trying to be mean, but it is what it is. Because I had a daddy that was murdered and shot by his, supposedly the son's, the, the girlfriend's son or the girlfriend or however they want to have it, Dolores. She think I don't know who she is, but I do. I do know you, but that was before my time, Dolores. That was before my time. Because you know what? You have your own conscience to deal with, Dolores. Um, I think she might be dead by now, but she did from what I heard. She had a hard life. I haven't really checked to see if she died or not, but she might be dead by now. But I did get a chance to meet her because she sought me out. She had to because her conscience was killing her. So, but back to that story. Back to Shira's story. Shira, Shira, right? Okay, Shira, 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 you got to sit in jail for another 6.5 years and think about the murder plot that she did. She wrote two books. She wrote a first book and then she did a sequel. She did a sequel. And the guy asked her, the interviewer asked her, 
was it real, the stories in the, the people in the book real? And she said 99.9. At first, it was supposed to be, you know, salacious. It was very salacious, but it was supposed to be like, you know, fiction type, you know, type, you know, like that type deal. But she interviewed and said it was real. So, therefore, when she said it was real, she sealed her faith. If she wouldn't have said it was real, if she wouldn't have said she's a mother, she's an author, she's a, a pastor, if she wouldn't have said all of that and and said, you know, that the book was 99.9% real, she could have well got away with it. But sometimes money and Percocets, I don't know, I'm not saying, I'm not saying uh, drugs, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, but for you to do something like that in the cult, to soothe your conscience, you got to be doing something. I'm not saying she was doing that. I'm just saying that it sounded like it might have been a little bit of perks or something going on. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I ain't saying, I'm just saying it sound like. But the real truth of it is, she did the interview herself and she said it was 99.9% .9 that it was real. So she sealed her faith. She sealed her own faith by saying it was 99.9% .9 real. And then she did a sequel. If she would have laid low, took the million dollars, gave it to the to the grandparents and let them do what they need to do with them kids by right, by right, by right, by right and by right, and just lay low, I think she would have got away with it. What you think? I think Cheryl Wright needs some prayer. I try. I love the sun so much, but I was out in the sun and got burnt, burnt up. My skin is peeling, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to. T it's gonna take three months for me to get this done. But let's do some nails. I love you all. Hi, it's Cassie Cassie. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Push the like button and share me with someone else, okay? I'm, wor I'm still working on my weight loss. I have about 25 pounds to go, okay? My goal is to get at 117 pounds. I'm getting there. It's because of my bones. It is so much better for my bones, okay? <laughs> that is why I want to be a little too small. But see the jewelry that I have on? This jewelry is super, super nice. See the jewelry that I have on? See the necklace? See these? Okay, I, I'm. these are for someone else. And you can contact me and I could hook you up with getting this jewelry they're not expensive at all these here are five these are seven the necklace is 15 i think that's really good and they're so durable and they don't have to clasp you just put them on and and wear them and look look at it like the tag tiger eye the look at that size tiger eye size beads and she has them in all different makes like sizes to small beads and different colors but wooden beads and she also do the glam beads also so five what i said seven fifteen and these are ten okay so let's get started Okay, so with filing, I gotta file down real good. Okay, so we this is the nail bed. File the nail bed. You can see here, see here where my nails are just really, just like kind of brittle. Okay, so they're brittle. And it's so dry here until I have to constantly keep moisturized. Okay, so I need to unfile it and then I'm going one way. I really have to make sure that I go one way and that the nail do not split open and 
when it splits and turning into a hangnail and then it can be so painful when it's snagged so I have to really make sure that it's sealed that cuticle is sealed so I'm gonna do all of them but you know I was talking earlier about Shira Wright Cheryl but she said Shira had she don't have another appeal until 2027 let me tell you that mom Lorenzo Wright's mom says she if she could have it she, she she's not coming out not even before her time but if she could have it she won't get out but what she was given is an amount of years I don't want to say exactly I think it was I think her sentence can carry up to 15 years they found the gun in the in the river they found a gun in the river. They linked it back to one of the deacons in her church. They said that her and the deacon was going together. He was uh, servicing her yard. And reportedly, you know, they say he was servicing her too. She was on the third house, but now, and then when she did her on the 11th, she said she was married again. So I don't know what husband this make. What, number four? She said he's a child, childhood person. You know, but I don't know. Cause you know, I don't know. I just know uh, Lorenzo's rights uh, death was untimely and it wasn't called for. And I want to talk about that because when we talk about relationships and we're talking about money, he was a a baller. And so you know, if he was a baller. He's gonna have plenty of women around him just trying to get in the in the in the courtyard. Not only trying to date him, just trying to get in the courtyard to be close to him. You know, you have women doing anything, wanting to do your laundry, cook for you. So with that kind of fame and money, ha, huh, it happens. Let me tell you, it happens to some of the best of men. And let me tell you, I don't think there there is a man on this earth that does not cheat. And I'm going to tell you two, maybe three good reasons why. Because they are creation, cre cre creation <laughs> of God, okay? He's a human, first, second of all. And then he's a man. And let me tell you something. I've seen some of the best men pastors uh, some of the best men that have dedicated their life to to God's word and his promise I've seen them fall from the shake of a hat a nice little thing come in their way um, uh, just it don't even have to be a nice little thing because my ex-husband cheated on me he was he was 30 and his girlfriend was 62. You know, I, I don't fault him. I don't fault him. You know, but it would have been better if he would have admitted it to me because I knew that he had those tendencies when I married him because of his background. I knew that, you know, because from what my grandmother told me what happened with one of my relatives. God rest her soul. I might not say God rest anybody's soul, but I will say God rest her soul, Amanda Burnett, God rest her soul, because she did have the love to tell me, Cat, Cassie, they used to call me, what you say you want to do after school? I said, Grandmama, I want to go to Paris and do hair and fashion. She said, well then, baby, I think you should do exactly that. And I was like, why, Grandmama? I I changed now because I'm in love. And he said, my boyfriend said that, I'm not calling his name, said he got to come back and marry me. She said, mm 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 mm. She said, that first thing you said, you should do that. I didn't listen to my grandmother. And I know my husband, my husband cheated on me so much and so, so much and so hard that I, I told him, Bring the lady home. Let's all live together. I loved him just that much. I said, bring her home. Let's live together. He said, he laughed at me. He said, girl. I said, listen, I love you. 
So he was a stone blood cheater. And I loved him so much. And I still do have love him because I have three kids for him. So anyway, all that now that back to when the right Cheryl Rice story. Cheryl was denied. She was denied, denied, denied early release. So, and the and the mother, Lorenzo's right mother, she was there. And some of the kids was there. She had six kids. And she had two set of twins that got lost on their way there. Boys. And she was so nice to the judge. She was telling the judge, oh judge, they're on their way, but they got they got lost. And they're supposed to be signing up to go, you know, and to play to play ball. And 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 the judge was so patient and he heard everything she said. And at the end of her speech, and he what he said, what he had to say. Okay, I'm gonna wipe a little bit of the the um dust away, and then we're gonna put on the nail hard partner. My co-host is not here, and I miss her so much. I miss her so much. She had to get she had to get things done this morning. She had something to do this morning. She got play dates and. You know, she got to get that mom together. Mm -hmm. She got a brother. She got to get that brother together. What? And she got another little brother that's going to be here. So she got a lot going on. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're doing our nail heart now. Down the center, left, and then right. So listen, like I was saying about Cheryl. And she was trying to explain to the judge that her twins got lost and, you know, they they were supported and they was on their way to be with her. And she, you know, she said, I said, she was so nice, almost like in a begging type, almost like in a begging type, you know, feel like, please, 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 please. almost like that, you know, at the beginning jail for a little while of course it will hum humble you and she's married again and she has that husband she's married to and he's probably doing all her finances and trust me honey he hitting something hard at home he's tearing that bed up let me tell you Cheryl I'm sorry baby doll I'm sorry baby doll but I can't say for sure cause I'm not there with your husband that strong healthy husband of yours. I'm not there, baby. But I know he's a man, okay? And I've seen the best of the best fall for some, okay? So, baby, you got those books that you wrote that you in, in prison for now because you say the books was 99.9% .9 true. You're a mom, you're an author, and, and you're a minister, a pastor. Okay. Well, they came and locked you up. And they locked up that deacon that killed your ex-husband, soon to be back, married, probably married to her because he did love her. He just had a problem with a little sex. Okay, which an all men do. Okay, so that guy that killed Lorenzo Wright is in prison and probably won't be getting out for a long, 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 long time. And I'm quite sure he'll come out totally different. Okay? And so you're in and you remarried and you got all that money. I think probably, well, whatever money you got. I don't know your finances, but you're from the seller of your books. I haven't read the book. I just heard the interview from the guy that read the book and he helped seal your nail in the coffin. Okay? So, dry time. We accomplished everything. We filed the nail bed. We sealed the cuticle. And we put a hardener on. So we are good to go until tomorrow. Okay? But I want to finish up this story about Cheryl Wright. So Cheryl, 
Cheryl was denied on April, May the 11th. She was denied early release. So she was denied. She was denied, 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 denied. She was denied. Well, I think Cheryl could just use a little prayer. So, Cheryl, we're going to pray for you. Okay? We're going to pray for you. And everybody, I keep you updated. I'm going to follow this, but let me tell you that mom, Lorenzo Wright's mom, hmm, let me tell y'all something. When them moms care about them sons, I'm telling you. And if they know, and, and I'm telling you, they know, they know about the root man. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's real. It's a real thing. They'll go to the ends of the earth, honey, to seal that deal. So you won't see the light of day anytime soon. Okay, I'm not saying that that's what Miss Wright did. Lorenzo's right mom did. I'm not saying that's what she did, baby, baby, baby. But I know what I know. Okay? Okay, y'all. I love you. Love you, love you. Love you. Okay, everyone. I have a video, a little clip that I did of Cheryl Wright in court on May the 11th when she was talking to the judge and she had a hearing. Okay, so I'm a, I'm gonna show you the clip. Look, no, no matter what, no matter what you go through, whether it be good, bad, ugly, pretty not pretty, rich, poor, healthy, not healthy, be yourself because you never know who may be watching you and they can learn by something that you're doing that may be good and consistent. So just be yourself and everything will work out. It will. <laughs>